Jai Shri Krishna, my name is Adhigya Anand and I am 10 years old. My many thanks to Dr. Chakrasar friend who has allowed me to take up a diploma course in Vedic Microbiology at such a young age. Loud. Okay. So today I would like to talk about the uh, third chapter of the Vedic Microbiology that I have learned. And it is containing some mantras, so I do not know the meters for the mantras. So kindly excuse me for that. Jai Shri Krishna. So today we shall begin with the introduction of this chapter. Uh, before, as I told you in the previous videos of the first and second chapters, Rishi, uh, uh, Rishi is used to gain, sama, um, uh, gain knowledge by sitting in Samadhi. So after they used to get the knowledge, they used to write it down in couplets or books and they used to give it to people to read and, uh, and propagate this wisdom like that. Uh, so today I am going to tell one sutta called Krimi Jambhanam composed by Rishi Kanva and uh, um, I, I just introduced the sutta to you. So the Devdas of this um, sutta is Mahi and Krimi Jambhanam. Uh, the first shloka uh, deity is Mahi and the two to five shlokas is Krimi Jambhanam. There are five shlokas in this and the first uh, Shloka is composed in Anushtuk meter. The second and the fourth shlokas are composed in Uparishtad Virat Brihati meter. And the third and the fifth are composed in Arshi Trishtuk meter. So we shall begin with the first shloka. Indrasyaya Mahi Drishat Kremer Vishwasya Tarhani Tayapinashmi Sankramin Drishada Kalva Viva it means, with soul's mighty millstone that destroys all sorts of microbes, I bray and bruise the microbes like wedges on the grinding stone, is what the physician says. And that means, uh, um, uh, as far as the word Indra is concerned, Indra is the god of the um, upper atmosphere. So he has a weapon called Vajra, which um, actually means thunder. But, so that actually kills microbes is what the physician is trying to say. And the millstone represents uh, the clouds. So scientifically also there is a production of nitric acid in the clouds. So that is microbicidal. N now mantra number two. Drishtama drishtama drhamathaha kururumratahama algandun sarvachalunan krimin vachasa jambhayamasi it means that the microbes which uh, are visible and invisible I have reduced to bits is what the physician says and he says that worms that have produced irritation in the skin or have fast entered the body I have destroyed. So mantra number three. three. It means that I kill microbes which cause irritation in the skin and also uh, the developed and the undeveloped microbes have lost their vigor and the microbes that have caused irritation in the skin they have all been finished or destroyed. Now mantra number 4. Anvantriyam shirshanyashmathaha Pashtiyam krimin avaskavam vyadvaram krimin vachasa jambhayamasi It means that worms which have entered the bowels and caused cholera and the worms that have entered the head and caused itch the worms that have entered the ribs and have caused pulmonary consumption and the worms that have um, gone into the skin and have caused leprosy all the physician has killed. Now mantra number 5. Ye krimayatha parvati shu vaneshu shadhishu Ye asma pashushvapsvantaha Ye asma kam tanvamavi vishuhu Sarvatadhinmi janima kriminam The physician says that the microbes which have um, gone in the uh, mountains, which live in the mountains, which are in the forests which reside in cattle and which have gained entry inside us have all been killed. 
and also the uh, um, their full generation has been destroyed is what the physician says so in this shloka the the vedas are trying to tell us that the microbes are everywhere and from their uh, favorable environment to their extreme environment they are present everywhere and their remarkable presence has been noted jai shri krishna that's all for today